in year 9 I was averaging a grade 4 in GCSE geography in year 10 and year 11 on almost every exam paper that I did guess what I was getting I was getting a grade 9 G the methods that I'm going to reveal to you guys will help you go from being average in geography to achieving the best grades possible in geography so let's get straight into it man and make sure to, to like comment and subscribe but to get colder follow my instagram at spencer community underscore for daily motivation and inspiration right go to my website and it's having another sell 75 percent off everything so if you need any resources be sure to check it out <laughs> <laughs> of doing well in GCSE, in GCSE geography you have to know your case studies you have to i still remember researching about mumbai in india like writing down um all of its details there's three things there's three things that you have to research about and that you have to know about your case studies so number one you have to know facts about the case study so like just like general facts like the population size like which country it's based in you know what i'm saying g those basic facts you need to know all of that number two you need to know about geographical problems that the case study is facing so it could be over population it could be Certification, you know what I'm saying, G. So you have to know all of the problems that that the case study is currently experiencing. All right. And number three, you need to know ma management. You need to know management solutions that will help to overcome these problems. These are the three things you have to know: facts, problems, and management solutions. If you can research and know all of those three things for all of your case studies, you're already getting an eight. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, G. You're already getting an eight. You know what? Case studies are probably the most important part of geography in terms of wanting to do well. When I first got my grade 9 in GCSE geography, my geography teacher was looking at me like this. I'm just there, I'm just doing, doing my, my smooth face. I'm just like, I'm looking smooth, I'm just like, I'm, I'm cold, you know what I'm saying, G? Case studies are important, bro. Number two, this goes along with tip number one, right? Tip number two is simply, you need to research additional information about case studies. You need, to, you need to go beyond the specification and research additional information. Slap that onto the exam paper and, and you're good. Number three, exam practice. There's a saying that I live by. Um, the saying that I live by is, if you fail to plan, then you plan to fail. I'll tell you what it means. In order to succeed, you have to plan. You have to have a plan, bro. If you don't have a plan, then how will you succeed, G? You know what I'm saying? And this goes for everything in life. For every subject, you have to plan your answer. But I can't lie, geography is an essay-based uh, subject. For the essay, you have to plan. Give yourself like 10 minutes, five minutes, plan the essay real quick. Number four, but number four, you need to know all of the geographical terms and, and words and then slap it onto the exam paper. So what are some terms that you have to know of? Mitiga uh, mitigation, adaptation, interdependent, all of that. You need to know all of the terms and then include it into your answers in the exam paper. Getting a 9 is simple, like especially at GCSE, G, I can't lie. Like it's literally just memorization at GCSE along with a bit of researching as well and you're getting a grade 9. And then along with all of those tips, right, you have to study. You have to make sure you know all of the content. Download, go online, search up GCSE AQA Geography specification go on to the specification make sure you know everything if you, i mean if you know everything then why wouldn't you get a nine so yeah man that's the end of the video man and if you have any questions that you want answered make sure to send me an email or dm me on instagram if you grind you'll succeed if you do nothing if you do nothing what you do g what you do if you do nothing what happens you stay the same g <laughs>
I wake up, flex, thumb down that check, no drip this, what? tell him run it all, no sleep, no rest, might crash, might wreck, but first I stretch, tell him run it all, I wake up, flex, thumb down that check, no drip this, what? tell him run it all, no sleep, no rest, might crash, might wreck, but first I stretch, tell him run it all, y'all gon' make me take that trip way out to Europe, I call up Niger, he'll come through in a hurry Those London boys don't come to play, you should get worried One false move, find yourself, they getting buried Dance with the devil, used to love playing those games Made some bad decisions that brought my mama pain I made a promise to her, swore that I would change I'm on the come up, bet I live up to my name I wake up, flex, I'm down that check No drip, this, tell him run it up no sleep, no rest. Might crash, might wreck. But first I stretch. Tell him run it all. I 